everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new um today is going to be a great video we're talking all about our fall bucket list so i like to do these in the beginning of the fall season so that we kind of have guidelines of fun things that we're going to th do throughout the season a bucket list is also really great because maybe you have like a lazy weekend and you are swamped you're like what can we do i always deviate to my fall bucket list and pick one of the activities off of there just to keep it fun for the season so i always put mine on a clear acrylic um, chart and we put that in our kitchen area so it's easily accessible and then my daughter can look at it and check it out and mark off things as we get things down on our fall bucket list. So if you are a mama and you are in need of some fun activities to do this fall, I hope this list is helpful for you. So let's start off um, with the first thing and that is pick up some fall slash Halloween books from the library. I love to do that for each season. Um, you don't always have to go out and spend tons of money purchasing tons of books. We do have quite the Halloween and fall library, but I have collected books over the years. So um, just to fill in those gaps and to replenish and get new ones throughout the season, we love heading to the library and checking out fall slash Halloween books to add to our collection. Another one, my daughter is six years old and she loves like arts and crafts. So for each season, I always try to do some type of activity. So I love doing um, a fall craft with her. So it could be just collecting leaves and putting together a sweet collage or um, something a little bit more hands-on creating. Last year, I know we painted um, little clay figurines. It could be that um, or just whatever your little ones are into. But I love doing a seasonal craft um, that is just fun. A lot of times, if it's a craft that we save, I will bring it out year after year, especially to de decorate our playroom area. The next one is bake a fall treat and um, I love to do this seasonally as well but there is a nothing cozier than baking something in the fall. You know the air is getting a little bit crisper. Um, this week in Texas we are having all the fall vibes and I'm loving it but Baking a fall treat, love to do that in the fall. Last year we did um, Rice Krispie treats like in the shape of a pumpkin, um, but you guys could do cookies. You could do whatever your it's your kid's favorite or your favorite as well. The next one, I think this kind of sets the bar for the season and we actually already did it in our home, but just decorating your home for fall. Um, we decorate in September a little bit. The week before September, I decorate my home for fall. And then that first week in October, we add in little not so spooky Halloween touches into our home. So I love it. Um, and then after October, I take down the spooky touches and then the fall kind of lingers on through Thanksgiving. But I love, I think it sets the tone, it sets the mood, especially if you live in a climate like in Texas, it just started to get a little bit cooler, but I think it's gonna heat up again. Typically, it's hotter here until November, the beginning of November, so just decorating your home kind of sets the mood for all the fall things. Next, um, we have uh, botanical gardens here in the Dallas, Texas area, and I, you guys know we moved here last year, around this time, from California, but we didn't get to go visit it last year, so I'm so excited. I heard it's awesome, so I'm so excited to go to the gardens here in um, Dallas to check out all that they have to offer. Um, I hear they have some great pumpkin displays and just, it's all the fall vibes, so I'm super excited for me in Brooklyn to check that out. 
Another thing, we love each season just going to visit the zoo. A lot of zoos will have um, trick-or-treating for your littles that is not spooky at all and typically is during like light hours. So we like to go and do that kind of stuff. So we want to take a trip to the zoo, see any new animals that have been born, and then do a fun zoo craft, which our Dallas Zoo usually has something like that. We are members, so they usually have some fun event in the beginning of each month so we're excited to experience that for fall um, the next one is I already plopped this into our calendar but um, the Science Center in Dallas does um, uh, trick-or-treating so I think that will be a nice fun activity for Brookie to do also in the fall it's nothing like the fall um, without doing a hayride so we can't wait to do that Visit a fun pumpkin patch, always fun. Go to a lot of a fall carnival. We did this last year here in Texas. Um, we a lot of the little smaller towns surrounding Dallas have their own little festivals and carnivals, so we can't wait, wait to check out the one this year. We went last year and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, make hot cocoa. Um, I'm not really into like a pumpkin spice those types of drinks, but uh, me and my little, we love making hot cocoa, especially when it's a little bit more crisp and cold during the nighttime. We're also um, going to be doing a trunk or treat. We did this last year and it was so much fun. My daughter got so much candy, um, so much fun. So can't wait to do the trunk or treat again this year. Carve or paint pumpkins, I put both because um, for the last few years, the design that my kids wanted to do was mostly painting and then adding things on. So not sure what their little hearts will desire this year. So we'll either carve or paint our pumpkins. Um, I also want to do, and we did this last year as well, just a little fun fall get together at our home. Um, I think it will be really fun. I think last year I had the kids like decorate cookies and do just fun little activities. So. I want to redo that this year and have friends over. We've met some amazing people here in Texas. Um, have friends over with their children to do. Just have a little fun little fall gathering at our home. Um, this is a big one. We want to head on to the Texas State Fair. We didn't get to visit it last year, but we are actually going to go. We already made plans. We haven't picked the weekend yet, but we made plans with my husband's cousin and his wife and their kids. They live in the Texas area too, so the Dallas, Texas area as well, so we can't wait to head to a fall carnival on the, the Texas State Fair with them. And then um, last but not least on my list is do a fall aquarium trip just to see um, any fun fall activities that they have for that. But that is it for our list. If you guys, um, I hope this was helpful if you create a fall bucket list for you and your children and your family at the beginning of each season. But I hope everybody has an amazing day and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new fall video. Bye.